Hi there, it's Helen and today I'm going to talk you through how to do the shoulder bridge. So the shoulder bridge is a really, really great Pilates exercise. Um, I like to practice this one every day, so I practice this every day at home. Um, it's a really great exercise for so many different reasons. So it starts with a pelvic tilt back and then you roll up, peeling up through the spine. So you're peeling away one vertebrae after the other, lifting the hips up, holding at the top and then rolling back down one vertebrae after the other. So in those early stages, it's about spine mobility as you roll through and start to peel away from the floor. So it's really great at getting that spine mobilized, articulating through each vertebrae. So really good at just feeling, getting some movement back into the back. And then you're also using your core to support you as you roll up and down. It's about challenging pelvic stability. So seeing, can you keep that pelvis nice and stable as you roll up and down through your shoulder bridge? And of course you're activating your glutes. So to keep you lifted and to keep those hips lifted, you're activating the gluteus medius, the great big muscle that makes up the bulk of, um, of our bottoms. So um, using those muscles, so great glute strengthener as well. And we're also opening out through the hip flexors. So it's quite a nice hip flexor stretch as you come up into that lifted bridge position. So let's get going, I'll show you what it's all about. So again, we're gonna come back to the mat, lying down in that neutral supine position. So just that light bend through the knees, heels lined up with the sit bones, lengthening through the spine, that natural gap in the lumbar part of the back, shoulders down away from the ears, hands are just resting on the mat, either side of the body. So we're going to start off by just taking some pelvic tilts just to loosen off through the lower back. So we're just going to rock that pelvis back and then take it away again. So no need to engage any um, muscles particularly at the moment. I mean we always have a light engagement through the abdominals. So you're thinking about switching that belt on to sort of 30% that pelvic floor and that deeper abdominal belt. So just some light engagement through, through the abdominals and pelvic floor. And I'm just imagining that I've got a marble that's just resting here. And as I'm tilting my pelvis back towards me, I'm trying to roll that marble in towards my belly button. And then as I rock my pelvis away again, it's just rolling back towards my um, pubic mound. So I'm just rocking the pelvis backwards and forwards, just kind of pushing the lower back into the floor as I'm working through that. Then I'm gonna come back and rest in my neutral spine. From here, I'm going to take a breath in to prepare and breathing out. I'm going to rock that pelvis back towards me and then I'm going to start to lift up away from the floor. So I'm picking up away from the mat, peeling away one vertebra after the other, coming up into this lifted bridge position. So you can see that my knees are in line with my hips and my shoulders and I'm creating that nice ski slope um, position. And I'm going to hold up at the top here as I take a breath in. Breathing out, I'm going to start to come back down to the mat, placing one vertebra after the other back down onto the mat and releasing off into my neutral position in between. So I'm going to do that another couple of times. Inhale to prepare, exhale, rock that pelvis backwards, start to peel the spine away, vertebrae by vertebrae, up away, lifting the hips and squeezing those glutes, so firing up those glute muscles to push those hips up. So then I'm going to hold at the top here, thinking about that nice straight line. Take a breath in at the top and breathing out, I'm going to start placing my spine back down, one vertebrae after the other, back down to the mat. Just touching down and then coming back into my neutral position. I'm going to do that one more time, so inhale, prepare. Exhale, spinning through, starting to peel up. So I'm thinking about keeping my pelvis nice and stable so that I'm not rocking side to side as I'm peeling up away from the floor. So I'm doing it nice and slowly with control, focusing my attention on the precision of the exercise. So I'm going to hold at the top, so I'm squeezing my glutes to keep those hips lifted. I'm going to take a breath in at the top and breathing out. I'm going to slowly bring myself back down placing one vertebrae after the other, back down to the floor and coming back, resting in my neutral position. So that's your basic shoulder bridge exercise. As we get more familiar with the exercise, I'll add in maybe some arm work. So we'll do some things with the arms. We might start to peel the toes, the feet, heels away. We might start to lift the legs up. 
There's lots you can do with a shoulder bridge. It's one of those brilliant exercises that you can just take anywhere. So, but this is your basic shoulder bridge, um, and this is this is how to do it.